Um, so good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Helen Fox. Um, I'm head of um, innovation strategy at DEFRA. Um, really pleased to um, be here today, listening to all the presentations um, from so many of you. Um, struck by the similarities, actually, between the themes that were emerging from the presentations today and those which we've highlighted through our own programme. Um, so just turning on to the programme itself, um, which is called the Innovation in Environmental Monitoring Programme. Um, and this is a joint programme. Um, we've been working actually with Simon uh, and Anna. For, uh, I've been working with them for about a year and a half now, um, setting up this programme. Um, so I think, first of all, I'm going to just give you the context of the wider programme. Um, and then I'll talk you through the details of the call itself. Um, and then a little bit of detail on the specifics on scope. So first of all, the programme. Um, DEFRA and UKRI... Um, are investing £12 million across three years for research and innovation projects to develop um, enhanced monitoring capabilities in area of joint strategic interest. And I'll come on to that in a minute. Um, and as you will have um, heard from today, we need that in all areas of the data life cycle, from data collection, processing, and analysis and visualisation. Uh, and that also includes multiple um, technology readiness levels, so the te technology development stages. So um, we're, we're, um, we've intentionally emphasised the importance of involving the end user in both calls. Um, it's crucial that any development takes place with the needs of the specific user in mind, um, whether that's pro pri private or public sector. We encourage the development of partnerships to, to make sure that the product or service is something that's been tested in a practical setting. So the programme itself has two elements. The NERC-led programme, um, which is supporting research-led activity, and an Innovate UK programme, which is to be launched in the winter, which will be supporting business-led activity, although there is some um, flexibility in terms of partnerships that can be formed. So this slide covers the programme objectives um, overall, um, and I'll just talk you through some of the um, details which pertain to the NERC-led call, um, but which you'll, you'll see when you're looking at the programme objectives, how they all link in. So really what we encourage and what we want to see is bids that focus on solving the most pressing problems of today and the future. And we want solutions that have a high chance of being commercialised. So in, in, in our call text, um, which was published um, two weeks ago now, last week, I think. Two weeks now, 23rd, isn't it? 23rd, 24th. 24th, yeah. So we can make sure there's a link available for those of you if you haven't seen it already. Um, so we've mentioned um, new sensing systems and capabilities. Now, just to emphasise, um, your product can actually make use of existing technology, um, provided it's being adapted for a new application or it's being combined with other technologies. Uh, and I'm just um, giving a quick example of the kinds of things that we're talking about when we mean um, applied within um, the user context. Uh, so the National Water Quality Instrumentation Service, which is based in the Environment Agency, are trialling a new piece of equipment called a Fluidian unit, and that measures um, automatically levels of E. coli in a water body. And what they've done is they've put this technology that they're testing into their existing monitoring systems, which pumps up the river samples every hour. So it's all being used in the context of what's there already. So in the call text, um, we've produced some desired outcomes, and those are a good checklist of the sorts of things that we want to see. And many of the things that we've, I've been hearing today, um, analysis-ready data, and also sustainability, low energy use is also something in there, and ideally lower cost than existing options, all of those we've outlined in the call, just to give you a sense of the, of the kinds of, of, of products and, and services we want to see. So this slide highlights that the, the, the NERC-led call is a primarily a, a capital funding call. So that means that we will fund 100% of any equipment costs you have and 80% of full economic costs for other resources so that might include the labour costs of developing your innovation. Your project product can, your, your project can cost um, between 450 and 750 thousand pounds, and can last up to 36 months.
And finally, so we've specified four challenge areas. And actually, again, they were really reflected by many of the presentations that were given today. So biodiversity, soil, water quality, and greenhouse gas emissions. And there we've specified emissions from DEFRA sectors, as this is a partnership between DEFRA and NERC. So it's landfill, wastewater, and agriculture that are the specific DEFRA sectors in scope. And it's important to note that you must stay within those areas. And you'll see that they are actually quite broad in themselves. So it, it, there's a fair amount of flexibility within those four challenge areas. Underneath the challenge areas, within this, the call text I mentioned earlier, we've specified some areas of interest. And these are a summary of DEFRA's monitoring priorities that we developed by consulting DEFRA group and DEFRA policy teams and evidence teams. And then those also correspond with um, NERC's priorities as well. Um, so we hope to see a good number of bids within those areas. However, while those areas are there to help you target your proposals, you can put forward bids outside of those areas. So as long as the proposal fits under one or more of the challenge areas, it'll be considered. Just make sure that you include a strong rationale and strong evidence that it will make, meet an end user need. So we're giving this flexibility to avoid blocking valuable ideas outside of those listed. And marine projects aren't in scope. Um, we feel they're sufficiently covered um, by other programs already in train. So in summary, we have designed a program which covers multiple technology development stages and it encourages a multidisciplinary approach. And the first call is open now and there's a second to come this winter. We hope that the program will help to build a community of expertise and a pipeline of UK capabilities to bring the best of the UK's expertise to bear on environmental monitoring innovation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Helen.